The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of Job. In the end, it was Job who broke the silence and cursed the day of his birth. This is what he said. Perish the day on which I was born, and the night that told of a boy conceived. Why was I not stillborn? Or why did I not perish as I left the womb? Why were there knees to receive me, breasts for me to suck? Now I should be lying in peace, wrapped in a restful slumber, with the kings and high viziers of earth, who have built their dwellings in desolate places, or with princes who have quantities of gold and silver cramming their tombs, or put away like an abortive child, I should not have existed like the little ones that never see the light. Down there, the wicked bustle no more. There, the weary rest. Why give light to a man of grief? Why give life to those bitter of heart who long for a death that never comes and hunt for it more than for buried treasure? They would be glad to see the grave mound and shout with joy if they reached the tomb. Why give light to one who does not see his way, whom God shuts in all alone? And our response is taken from Psalm 88. Lord, may my prayer reach your presence hear my cry for help for i am filled with misery my life is on the brink of sheol already numbered among those who sink into oblivion i am as one bereft of strength left alone among the dead like the slaughtered lying in the grave whom you remember no more cut off as they are from your protection You have plunged me to the bottom of the grave, in the darkness, in the depths, weighted down by your anger, kept low by your waves. You've deprived me of my friends, made me repulsive to them, imprisoned with no escape. A reading from the Holy Gospel, according to St. Luke. Now it happened that as the time drew near for him to be taken up, Jesus resolutely turned his face toward Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. These set out, and they went into a Samaritan village to make preparations for him. But the people would not receive him because he was making for Jerusalem. Seeing this, the disciples James and John said, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to burn them up? But Jesus turned and rebuked them. And they went on to another village. The Gospel of the Lord.